All right, how's everybody doing today? This is Mr. Muscarella coming at you, and for this video, we're going to take a look at finding reference angles and drawing reference triangles. Now, just what is a reference angle? Well, it's any angle that's between 0 and 90 degrees or between 0 and pi over 2. The next thing we're going to have to be able to do in order to find a reference angle we're going to have to do some very challenging arithmetic here. We either be adding or subtracting 180 degrees, 360 degrees, or if we're working with radians, you'll add or subtract pi or 2 pi. It's just going to depend whichever one of those our given angle is going to be closest to. More on that in a little bit. Now the next thing we want to do is when we talk about a reference angle, it refers to the positive distance between the angle and the x-axis. And, of course, we've got to pay attention to our notation. The reference angle is going to be denoted by theta prime. Now, for drawing reference triangles, we're going to end up with a triangle that could be in quadrant number 2. We could have a reference triangle in quadrant number 3, or we could have one that's in quadrant number 4. And all of these, of course, would be a right triangle, and our reference angle, theta prime, is always going to be closest to the origin. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at our first example here, and I think you guys will pretty much pick up on this really quickly. Now, 250 degrees, if that's our given angle, theta, what we've got to do is kind of recognize like what quadrant would 250 degrees be in. So I'm just going to kind of do a quick sketch right here. 250 degrees, if I went all the way around, oh, that'd be somewhere in quadrant number three. So that's pretty close to back up here to 180 degrees. All right, so I'm going to work with a 180. Now what I'm going to do is take 250 and I'm going to subtract 180. When I do that, I get an angle of 70 degrees. So my reference angle, theta prime, is going to be 70 degrees. So I would draw a right triangle here. And now different textbooks will kind of put different things in there. Some will want you to put the reference angle right there, and others might put theta prime in that spot. So ask your teacher which one they prefer or which one your textbook's using, but our reference angle is definitely 70 degrees if our given angle, theta, is 250. So here we are with our second example where we've got to find a reference angle, draw the reference triangle for theta equal to 160 degrees. So it's going to be pretty straightforward and by now I'm sure you can know where 160 degrees is. That's going to be all the way here in quadrant number two. So my reference triangle, when I go ahead and draw that, that will be somewhere here in quadrant number two. Now all the way around to that angle is 160 so I want to get back to the x-axis where that's 180 degrees so I'll take 180 degrees minus the 160 degrees and the angle that I have to travel that distance I have to travel is 20 degrees so my reference angle for this particular example is 20 degrees so there are two examples we just did using degrees for the next two examples we're gonna go ahead and use radians so let's go ahead and get into those right now. Now next we're going to take a look at finding the reference angle and drawing a reference triangle for a value of theta that's in radians. So here we've got 7 pi over 4. Now one of the things you want to do is recognize that if you were to draw that on the unit circle, 7 pi over 4 would go all the way around and be in quadrant number 4. So quadrant number four, so what we're going to do, this spot right here, that's two pi if we go all the way around. But my denominator here was four, so what I'm going to have to do is change two pi into something over four. So what I'm going to do basically is multiply four times two, so that's the same thing as eight pi. Now to find my reference angle then, I'm going to have to subtract, I'm going to have eight pi over four minus seven pi over four, and that'll give me the distance back up to the x-axis, and that's just going to be pi over four. So my reference angle is going to be pi over four, so when I were, if I'm drawing that triangle, okay, of course it would be here in the quadrant number four, and then pi over four would be my angle that is my reference angle. Now let's go ahead and try one that's negative 
This time we're going to have negative 5 pi's over 6. And if we kind of think about this for a second, so now I'm dealing with 6 on the bottom as my denominator. So I want to find my reference angle for negative 5 pi's over 6. Well, if I were to travel around in the unit circle, so here's my unit circle, and I'm going to go around and around and around. If I went halfway around, because I'm going in a negative direction, so I'm going to go clockwise. So if I went halfway around, I'd travel pi. Another way to represent pi is 6 pi's over 6. So that's the same thing as pi. Now negative 5 pi over 6 would put me somewhere in quadrant number 3. So what I'm going to do, I'll have my reference triangle right here. Some of you might already kind of see and know what it is. So I would take 6 pi's over 6, because that's another way to represent pi, and I would just subtract 5 pi over 6, and then that gives me a total of pi over 6. So my reference angle would be pi over 6, and again, because pi over 6 is between 0 and pi over 2, you should recognize that to be 30 degrees, which is definitely between 0 and 90. So that's why you have to do to find a reference angle and draw a reference triangle for any given value of theta whether that value is positive or negative. Now of course couldn't let you guys go without practicing two more to totally make sure that you have it down. So what I want you to do here go ahead and find the reference angle and draw the reference triangle for each one of your given values of theta. Go ahead and hit pause now and when you think you got it come on back and let's see how you did. Alright rock stars how'd you do? I'm sure you got this correct, so no big deal. Glad you guys are rocking this out. This should be pretty easy by now as long as you can add or subtract. But there is one other caveat that I want to go over with you real quickly. And that special case is this. If you have reference angles when theta is negative between 0 degrees and 90 or 0 and pi over 2 for radians and that angle is in quadrant 4, there's going to be a certain pattern and I think you guys will pick up what that pattern is really quickly here. Check this out. Look at the values of theta and look at the values of our reference angle. What do you notice? Of course you do. If your given angle is negative and in quadrant 4 and that angles between 0 and 90 then that reference angle is just going to be the absolute value of the given angle theta. All right, so no big deal. And if you just kind of think about that from a common sense perspective, if you have an angle and you go backwards this way in a clockwise or negative direction to get back up to the x-axis, that angle that you're going to have to move backwards in a counterclockwise direction has to be positive. So all you're going to do is just take away the negative sign. It's going to be the absolute value of the given angle. And it'd be the same thing for radians, but I'm not going to bore you with that because I think you get the idea. So that's it for watching this video. Thanks, guys, very much. I appreciate it. Hopefully by now you totally get how to find and draw reference angles and triangles for any given angle. Thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day. Peace out, you.